I think we've made significant progress in reducing the burden of malaria. I would put it like that. The, we now have some better drugs, which undoubtedly have saved a lot of lives. And particularly now, we have these artemisinin and combination therapies. And the fact that a lot of new compounds are in the pipeline or have actually been developed. One of the key factors is the fact that people who in, in positions such as WHO, or now of course MMV, can see what some of the practical difficulties are in relation to the limitations of what drugs we have, the difficulty of producing uh, new drugs or, for example, um, uh, drugs derived from traditional medicines such as artemisinin and um, also the uh, possible value of such things as impregnated mosquito nets, which have, I'm sure, been one major factor in reducing the amount of transmission so far. But we still haven't entirely faced up by any means to the extraordinary ability, A, that the parasites can develop resistance to, at the moment, almost anything you throw at them if you use them singly, although we're now coming to accept you really should be using combinations of drugs, not just any old combination, especially designed ones. So it means we're still left having to look for different drugs which can overcome the problems of existing ones, new insecticides which can help us uh, overcome the resistance in the vectors to mosquitoes, and um, thirdly, come to accept the principle that one should not be using either antimalarial drugs or insecticides, in my opinion, as single compounds.